All right, what's up y'all? So this is a test, I guess. I haven't really filmed a video in a long time. I'm actually currently on my way to Richmond because I'm pitching for one of my startups. Uh, we're trying to fundraise for a million dollars for Tapped AI. It's a tech company that I'm starting. And that's one of the reasons why I haven't been making videos um, for a little bit. So what I figured was uh, I go ahead and, oh, and I get some food and uh, kind of just let you guys know what I've been up to. I also have this energy drink because I'm about to pitch to this venture capital firm and basically it's like a bunch of these different investors that can give you money for your startup and um, I want to make sure that like I'm on top of things. I'm so tired. Two nights ago, uh, I barely slept um, and now I'm making a two and a half hour drive. Gonna go do back to back meetings and then head back two and a half hours. Um, I don't live in LA anymore. And for those of you guys who are watching, you know, a year ago, I was living in LA, but I actually left because I wanted to focus on my startup and instead of working a job and having to pay all these bills, like California is expensive, I could have stayed there, I could have been comfortable, I could have been doing my job, but I had this rare opportunity where a tech startup was doing really well and I figured I'd go do that full time. i just go travel for the whole year. I lived in Texas for a bit, those vlogs will be coming out soon. This video is essentially to tell you I'm back. Um, I've quit for so long and there's a lot of videos that I'm gonna catch up on and I just feel terrible that I haven't really uh, been on top of it and this is honestly what I truly love to do um, and you know even with my family it's it's hard for me to you know help them understand what I'm doing or what I'm working on um, and I honestly don't want to go back to working a job so I'm giving myself till the end of the year for me to do content creation full-time and if it doesn't work out well then I'm gonna quit content creation and just focus on working uh, a regular job again and put everything else kind of as like a side gig um, you know, because when you get older, you have stuff to pay for. And obviously now, you know, bills are kicking in even more because that next round of student loans came in. So I got to get it figured out ASAP. And the one thing that I know that I could do is content creation. You know, I've done it with TikTok. I've done it with streaming. I've done it for multiple other people. Um, I've worked at a label. I've worked at partnership agencies. I've done social media for a lot of different brands. I always prioritize other people. Um, but this year I'm gonna be prioritizing myself and I know I can make uh, good money for it But honestly, this is what I love doing, uh, but I don't want to go work like a real job. You know what I'm saying? Um, also peep this sandwich this is falling all over the place And look, you know, I look at the times when I used to have like a, Like a really big cult following when I was streaming or you know a big following on all these other platforms and at the time I don't think I was ready you know one of the reasons why I stopped is because there's so much pressure and that sounds so cliche because like this content creation social media stuff I laugh when people are like oh it's so hard bro you're blessed there's people here working like 12 13 14 hours a day just to meet you know their rent or to be able to pay for uh, bills and pay for food for their kids when people are complaining when they're out on the camera but the one thing I will say that I do respect about content creators it's a lot of pressure man you know one of the reasons why I stopped streaming was because I wanted to focus on my media company TCC entertainment at the time because you know the money from events was going really well and uh, with streaming you know I started finally finding like a real groove with it but the issue was you know I had a situation where a lot of people were holding me up to this high standard I'm like the solution to their mental health they're like I would be the way that they would escape and that was a lot of pressure on me, especially when it was like younger people. And there was a video that was put out by somebody who used to watch my videos and uh, they wanted to take their life away. And that just really messed with me, dude. And I also didn't want to be seen as like a content creator because, um, you know, a couple years ago, there was just no respect to it. You know, I wanted to do all these different things. Damn. You know, I want to build my businesses. I want to, you know, make movies. I want to act in movies and I was like, you know, they won't take me seriously if I'm a content creator And now we're in a space where you can't help but be a content creator I've seen it where with my tech startup tapped AI I'm forced to create content to be able to get investors interested in us And by no means do you have to have millions of followers by no means do you have to have like a million likes per post You could get a hundred likes on LinkedIn, but there might be 10,000 people that see your stuff and to this day, you know, my LinkedIn, my emails are blowing up just because I posted content. And so I realized you don't have to blow up to get opportunities for yourself. You can make content at a small level, small scale, and you could still elevate your life because you have a personal brand. 
look at the most influential, successful people in this life. You know, they have a personal brand and that's what gravitates people towards them. You know, because when you're working with somebody that uh, you have confidence in because you feel like you know them compared to some random schmuck, you know, more opportunities are going to come your way and there's a little bit more belief or trust in you. Um, and so this year, I want to finally put that anxiety away of being judged or perceived because even me being in front of this camera is super hard. Um, or even when I was posting on, you know, social media about my startup, but eventually you break through those barriers and you realize that the, uh, ability to be perceived negatively is outweighed by the pros of being able to get more opportunities and better your life. And for me, you know, I'm in a position where I need to get things figured out. I didn't leave LA for no reason. I left LA so I could focus on the startup and make sure that, you know, everything goes well. And so I could travel around all over the US instead of paying rent. I'll go travel to Texas. I could go to New York. I could go live in LA for a month. I could go live wherever I want. And I could live this nomadic lifestyle. But it comes to a point where that money starts to run out that you're saving. And if there's one thing that I know that I can do, it's content creation and social media. It's just a matter of can I stay consistent with it? Because I'm so disappointed with myself every time that I quit. Because ironically enough, this is what I love more than anything. More than anything else that I'm working on, I love making content and I love entertaining people. Um, and this will be my full-time job. And like I said, I'm giving myself till the end of the year. I'm quitting content creation for good. So if you guys want to be a part of my journey, you guys want to see me travel, you guys want to see me build a media company, build my tech company, build my own personal brand, live stream, vlog, do podcasts, meet new people, and most importantly, show you that you can do anything that you want. Like the purpose of these vlogs is to show you that like, let's say tomorrow I wanted to be a painter. I'm going to go and film myself literally uh, creating a piece of art and then putting it on the internet and then selling it and then potentially turning into a real business. Or tomorrow if I want to be a musician, me going to the studio, making music, whatever. Or let's say tomorrow I want to be a software engineer. You're going to see a video of me turning into a software engineer. I'm going to film the whole process of me learning how to code and then getting an internship. Like I want to show you how quick the turnaround time is because I'm around a lot of like my friends and stuff and I was like, how do I get into this? How do I do this? Bro, the easiest thing is to just go and do it. You know, you don't have to create all this anxiety for yourself by preparing and researching. The best way to learn is just throw yourself into it. And that's what I want to show you guys. And I want to show you guys how to build relationships, network with people, believe in yourself, build a brand. And like I said, most importantly, that you could do whatever you put your mind to. And, um, you know, I'm just look at this car that I'm sitting in. I'm not super wealthy, right? I did some things that were smart and I have some money that I was sitting on, but you know, I'm not up like I used to be. I quit a job. I left LA where I had more clients and was working for a label. I'm taking this short term hit so I could take a long term win. Um, and I really think this is the year for me for content creation and you know, all these people come in with all this motivation and, and stuff like that, but where are the results and who's going to be here in December? This video is not about me coming in and saying I have a new year's resolution. This video is to hold myself accountable and let you guys know that I will be here at the end of the year still making content and I'm going to make sure for a fact that this can be something that is feasible for me and I can make you guys great entertaining content. And if you guys are with me and you guys want to be a part of that, like, comment, and subscribe. A lot of the older videos that I had for the past year, like Ronaldo versus Messi, just like chill vlogs, going to New York, cooking food with the homies. And then we're finally going to catch up and we're going to get to like me traveling, literally filming myself driving from California all the way to New York and coming to the East Coast. And then we're going to be seeing a lot of new videos like uh, starting a protest, turning into musician in, in 24 hours. I'm going to show you how easy it is to be whatever the hell you want to be. Um, so yeah, look, I love you guys. And I don't know. And you know, I haven't said this in a long time. Miss your boy here to love. Peace.